Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. This is chapter two in my Tormach video series, which is uh, a chapter I'm very excited to start, which is that today I bought the mill. Uh, so today on this video, I wanted to go over the, the details of the purchase, the shipping and sort of handling details, talk a little bit more about why I went with Tormach versus um, the other competing products, which is a question I've had from a lot of folks, and then discuss what the next steps are. Um, as you can see in front of me, this is a an Excel list, uh, which is quite similar to the one I showed you in Chapter 1, which is basically every single thing I bought, starting with the PCNC 1100 and the Deluxe Stand. This is the lifting bar, which allows you to use an engine crane or engine hoist to lift the mill off the pallet and onto the stand. I bought the tension compression tapping head, which the folks at Tormach were kind enough to notify me today that um, the part, the purchase, the item I purchased is being discontinued and then replaced with um, a new part, which is um, designed with ATC or automatic tool changer geometry in mind and. Uh, since I would like to at least be able to use a tool changer in the future if it makes sense with um, the opportunity or the price uh, they were kind enough to let me upgrade to that one. Um, the machine arm I'll go over a lot of this stuff when the mill arrives and you're able to see that in person but the machine arm controller, monitor, keyboard um, the CNC operator set which is the Tormach tooling system um, the items here that I've colored together are a paired set. It's a keyless chuck and the requisite uh, TTS tool uh, to use that keyless chuck, which is uh, Jacob's take, Taper number two. Um, I downgraded my Libre. I had gone with a Pro, and they had said, you know what, you're going to be just as happy with the $100 version. Um, the reason I thought about going with the more expensive one, I think it was 300 was it offered uh, the ability to render... Um, images is sort of a photographic type and um, they said yeah they weren't they weren't too excited about it so for a hundred bucks I've got something that works and I can always upgrade later. Sprute cam is what it is. I went with the drawbar feature and the drawbar foot pedal and by way of coincidence Tormach released a great white paper today actually I should pull that up there um, on their blog which discusses some of the nuances behind the Tormach tooling system and call it slipping. It's a problem that some very respected people have said has plagued the Tormach tooling system and I don't have any first-hand experience with it other than I have a colleague that has a mill and has said that his collets have pulled out before when doing some pretty heavy usage but um, you know unless the folks at Tormach are trying to pull a fast one on us they basically say if you keep them clean um, which is not necessarily a small feat, but if you keep them clean, you should be okay, and you should almost stall the mill out before you have a collet slip, but that's for another day. Um, machine oil, and then uh, these four are all tied together. This is their um, 38 mil, which is, I think, about 100, and, or excuse me, 1.5 inch face mill. Um, and then here, the UPS shipping was $120 for I think that's everything except the mill and the cabinet and then the freight. This is from Wisconsin to um, just outside of New York City to with for residential delivery with a lift gate was $586. So that put my total cost at $14,712. Uh, I did not go for the extended warranty. I believe I can purchase that later if I want to. And the DVDs here are actually the same as they have for free on YouTube. They only offer them for sale because some folks want to actually own the DVD itself. So uh, that's what I bought. Um, the next, um, you know, next steps are uh, the UPS package went out the same day, which I think is incredible and be, uh, you know, exceeded my expectations. And then it uh, sounds like the mill should be in my area in probably four to five days and then I will get a call from or I will call the freight company and coordinate delivery probably sometime next week in probably about seven days so that's sort of it I've got to go to Harbor Freight this weekend I'm going to pick up I should open that up too to show you um, I'm gonna pick up their engine uh, crane that they sell engine hoist 
um, they have a folding one which I think will be nice because I can get tuck it away when I'm done it's two hundred ten dollars and I think I've got a twenty percent off coupon so that's forty bucks off hundred and seventy dollars plus tax hard to beat um, and I'm gonna consider trying to get away without a pallet jack I don't own one and I don't have easy access to one so we'll see how that goes um, next I want to talk a little bit about Tormach versus the other competing products and I have a friend who happens to live in the town in Connecticut where industrial hobbies is based and uh, yeah I would personally consider them a major competitor if not the biggest competitor to Tormach um, I had a chance to meet Gene when he was alive and, and Tommy they were great people uh, I really liked um, hanging out with them for an afternoon um, I like a lot of the things about their mill uh, but Tormach is more compelling to me. It's uh, a personal decision, so I'm discussing this openly because I'm walking through my um, opinions and not that uh, anyone else needs to agree with me here. But um, look, the travel um, of the industrial hobbies when you add the table extensions is great, and the servos, I guess there's nothing wrong with them. Um, the base spindle speed is of 1600 RPMs is no good. Um, their new head which goes up to 4000 plus sounds better. It's not the same as the Tormach at 5000 but that in and of itself isn't a deal breaker. Um, the real reason is is simple. Uh, Tormach to me is a one out because of the way they present themselves as a company. They Their support seems to be unprecedented. That proved that today when they were on top of my order and how it shipped immediately, um, providing me with details about the upgraded products. Unfortunately, um, IH and some other companies have been in the forums lately for having some delays, major delays. Um, but Tormach, you know, they continue to innovate. They're coming out with new products. Um, they're hosting classes. They're doing joint ventures with the software companies. They have quality control um, both in the States and in Asia. Um, they have a very strong and active user base. The documentation is is phenomenal. And for me, um, I'm a user. I, I, I'm buying this mill to make stuff, not to tinker, uh, in terms of tinker, excuse me, with, with getting the mill up and running. And so that's important to me. Uh, I, you know, I still want to throw out some positive things about IH, though. And one of the things I want to say is the a fellow who I've come to respect just through online interactions and readings is a fellow named Bob Warfield over at uh, CNC Cookbook. He publishes the G Code Wizard software, which is awesome. And he has done a ton with his um, industrial hobbies mill, and I would encourage everyone to go read more about it. So, um, absolutely a, a, a great example of where that's right for someone else. Um, lastly, let's see here, what else was I going to cover? Um, oh, you know, with, and when it comes to the travel size, I, look, I'll say this, that I don't think most people who are um, using these mills really need, you know, you, you, you know, 18 inches of X on the Tormach, yeah, it kind of stinks, but um, are people really milling 30 inch parts? No, I agree, now you might be running multiple vices, or you might be trying to do something that's really meant for something like a router or or another type of machine like making a larger sheet metal type box or, or plate box or, or sheet or something but um, ultimately you know my opinion is that you know there are plenty of machine shops out there a Tormach is going to meet my demands most of the time and if the when I have parts that are too big I can solicit the help of machine shops um, or even you know do some of it myself and pass it off to them or bring it back or I can even figure out ways to use dial pins and moving the part along but basically um, I'm buying the machine that's right for me 90-95% of the time and I'd rather be inconvenienced for the other times when I have something too big than to buy the wrong mill um, out the door and look you know after a few years if I'm wrong I'll admit it but pretty happy um, like I said next step is to hop over to Harbor Freight pick up that engine hoist and then I really need to get my garage ready uh, most importantly I've got to throw up the uh, electrical stuff to get the 220 uh, running there and then um, the that's here today is Tuesday on Friday the UPS boxes will arrive so I'm sure that'll be a lot of uh, organizing and cleaning and take it from there uh, that's all for now, folks. I'll see you soon.